This is a series of graphs that you can use to make sure you understand concentric and eccentric um, muscle contractions during the hip, knee, and ankle joint during running. Okay, so you can also um, view these contraction types as power. And if you're generating power, that is a concentric contraction, you're opposing gravity. And if you are absorbing power, that is an eccentric contraction, and you are controlling gravity. All right, and so these should look pretty familiar to you. Here is just the kinematics, right, in degrees. So you have your hip, basically flexion, extension. Oh, let me get, oh, there's my thing. So flexion, extension. Here it looks like a typical knee um, pattern, so that is flex, extend, larger flexion during swing phase, and extend. And notice they have the line right here. Oh, that's a bad line. This line separating stance and swing. All right, and then for, um, for the ankle joint, you have dorsiflexion, a big plantar flexion for toe off, and then dorsi, that's supposed to be a P, sorry. And then another dorsiflexion um, <clears throat> during the swing phase. Hip moment, hopefully you guys remember, moment also means torque. So this is the, the torque that is, is occurring, right? And it tells you which muscle is active. So we have, this is extension, flexion. So you have an extensor torque, okay? You are, um, oh my gosh, I meant this up. This is extension, sorry, and this is flexion for limb advancement. So if you have an extensor torque and you are extending, that is a concentric contraction, so you are generating power, so you can go back and check that. Then if you are extending and you are creating a flexor torque, right, so you have flexors, that is an eccentric contraction. So basically these um, circle dots, you can go back to your graphs and make sure that you understand them. And then during um, swing phase where you're flexing, put that as flex, um, and you are have a flexor moment, right? You're still on the flexor side of the hip torque, hip moment graph, then that is a concentric contraction, back up to generating power. For the knee, for stance phase, we have you're starting, to, you're flexing, okay. and you are creating an extensor torque, right? So the knee extensors would be the quads are creating, um, uh, the, being utilized, so they're creating an extensor torque, but your joint is flexing, those are opposite, so that's an eccentric contraction. Then you have your joint is extending, you are also still creating an extensor torque, so your quads have gone from an eccentric contraction to a concentric contraction, and you'll see that um, series quite a bit, right? Eccentric to concentric, eccentric to concentric, very efficient. For the ankle, right, so during the whole stance phase, you're creating a plantar flexor torque, so your gastroc soleus complex is active. In the first phase, you're dorsiflexing with the gastroc soleus, so those are opposed opposite, so that's an eccentric contraction at beginning of stance. And right before toe off, you are plantar flexing, and you are still creating a plantar flexor torque, so that's a concentric contraction. And again, you see this eccentric to concentric relationship. All right, so make sure you understand that.